We're still in Psalm 9, and we look at verses 13 and 14. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those who hate me, you who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in your salvation. You know, the Psalms are very rich uh, expressions of prayer, of desire to God. And uh, as you read them, you, you see the diversity of ways in which we can bring our request to the Lord and in which we can pray. And, and also see the way in which God relates to us, his covenant people. So David is the one who is inspired to pray this prayer. This is an inspired prayer of the Holy Spirit. And he calls on the Lord to respond to him in his affliction. And then he asks God to show him mercy. And that's very important because there are two ways in which God can deal with us. He can deal with us according to mercy or according to judgment. And when our hearts are right towards him, then he deals with us according to his mercy. But when we are wicked and, and destructive, then his judgment comes upon them. So David is now falling on God's mercy. And when we fall on God's mercy, he extends his kindness to us. So three things I want you to notice about what he calls for when he's asking for God's mercy. He says, have mercy on me, O Lord, consider my trouble. Mercy makes God consider us, God to pay attention to us, God to notice us, because uh, mercy is, is, is like God turning his eyes to look at your direction, turning his eyes to focus on you. So that's what David is saying. He said, Lord, turn your eyes upon me. See me, see what I'm going through, see my afflictions, see what people are doing to me. And it is the mercy of the Lord that enables him to take notice of us. Of all the billions of people on this planet, God's mercy directs him to those who are in need of him. So that's the first thing. God's mercy enables him to take notice of us. Secondly, God's mercy makes him lift us up. And he says, Lord, you who lift me up from the gates of death. So the mercy of God is what lifts us up from the gates of death, from the place of destruction. When somebody has uh, set you up for destruction, what's going to deliver you is, is not just your own cunning and your own effort. Yes, it's good to make effort and, and work hard and, and free yourself from the trap. But David is appealing to God's mercy. And may the mercy of the Lord be available to you and to me, to all of us, and lift us up from what David calls the gates of hell or the gates of death. Uh, and David talks a lot about it because he's expressing things that people are doing against him with the intention to take him out, to, to kill him. So he calls it the gates of death. He's almost at the point where the plans of the wicked are succeeding. He calls for God's mercy. And may the same God of mercy show you mercy and lift you up from the gates of death. And the third thing he says uh, is that, the, that I may tell of your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. Mercy gives us a testimony. So when God shows us mercy, he gives us a song. And David says, instead of uh, being buried at the gates of death, I'm going to sing at the gates of the daughter of Zion. I'm going to sing in a good place. I'm going to testify in a good place. I'm going to rejoice in a good place. There is going to be a testimony coming out of this. So you see what God's mercy does for us. God's mercy turns his face on us. He considers us. God's mercy lifts us up from the trap that is set for us. And God's mercy gives us a testimony. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what life is throwing at you. But by the mercy of God, you will come out with a testimony. And God will give you a song, a song of deliverance, a song of praise. It may be for you. It may be for your children. It may be for your, your husband or your wife or for your mother or your grandmother or for a friend in the office or somebody you know. But may God show them mercy so that they will come out of wherever they are with a song and with a testimony. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I receive your mercy 
in this time of need. Thank you for deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.